The team of the Fraunhofer Institute for Production Technology in Aachen, Germany, develops an automated laboratory system for the project Autocrat. It will produce and analyze stem cells for the treatment of osteoarthritis in the future. Researchers and the clinicians have to better understand the mechanism of the therapy. So we want to support them uh, in the Autocrat project by producing um, cells and cell products for potential applications in uh, osteoarthritis. And we want to develop a fully automated uh, technology and a fully automated platform uh, to produce these cells um, with a robot-assisted process. Um, and that they have different types of cells that they can use to research and develop um, potential applications in osteoarthritis. The Autocrat facility comprises two areas, one for production and one for the analysis and quality control of the cells. In the production module, everything starts with a battery reactor, which is a pod which consists medium in which the cells are stored. We can pump the cells out of the reactor and move it over to remove the media by essentially fusing the cells, where the cells move to the bottom of the flask and we can pour out the media. And then we put crew medium to the cells in which they can store it in a minus 80 Celsius freezer where they can be stored for a day, after which they can be used for further processing or they can be moved to deeper cooling to be stored for a longer time. In the analysis module, the cells can be measured for the quality and for errors and uh, infection risks in the product, which can be harmful for the patient. Therefore, this platform consists of several devices needed to further grow the cells like an incubator and a pipetting robot which can move media to the cells and take it from the cells. Furthermore, we have a PCR and endotoxin test which can also automatically perform several measurements onto the cells. When robotics and automation take over processes in the laboratory, the tasks of the employees change as well. In the laboratory with automated devices, the work of the employees is less operational they do not need to do process steps like pipetting and moving of the cells and its material, but their work is more in the management layer where they do have to plan the processes, they have to know which processes do I want to perform and uh, what is the quantity of the product I want to get. Furthermore, they need to analyze the results of their research they may be doing on the devices. So they do more the planning work, the management work, and do less of the repetitive steps. Each step in the process is optimized in minute detail because work with stem cells depends on many factors. The challenge in the project is that uh, when we're in the area of cell therapies, we usually have um, batches which uh, strongly um, variate from batch to batch and the cell properties can strongly variate from batch to batch. So we need to be able to adjust to these uh, variances and we have to make sure that we don't add to these kind of variances through um, different operators handling the process. So with the automation, we can um, supervise the process very extensively and ensure that every step is documented, which is usually in the GMP environment. For uh, humans to do all this, it's an extensive amount of work and it's, it's very tiresome to be working in this kind of uh, environment. It will still take some time until Autocrat is completed, but waiting pays off. Ferdinand Biermann boils it down. The question when the costs pay off is difficult to say for the Autocrat project, as this is still in development and we cannot say it yet. We did those calculations for another project, the Stem Cell Factory, where we found out that the platform pays off after a year. If you compare an automated production to a manual production, with the same product and the same amount, you gain more in the automated lab after three years. 